Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. Today we go to Talladega in both the Xfinity Series and in the Monster Energy Cup Series. A track that we usually don't have a lot of speed at for some reason. I usually put a full setup in at Talladega because a 5 star car runs like a 3 star car at this track for some reason. But in the Xfinity race we had Harrison Burton back in the car for the second time this season. He ran pretty well in his debut. I believe he finished second for us if I remember correctly but he didn't start very well today in Talladega as he started down about 32nd and he would actually go backwards from there as he could not really uh, maintain speed with these other cars. He certainly struggled early on in this race and it would really only get worse for Harrison Burton as he came towards uh, another handful of laps later. He would actually get down to the apron in turns one and turns two and go for a slide and come back up the track and cause a crash with the 78 and the 8 car and that would completely take Harrison out of the race and completely completely ruin the momentum that we had going with this team unfortunately just one of those days for Harrison Burton but uh, hopefully we can rebound from that uh, with this team I'm sure we can it was just one little mistake on Harrison's fault and ended his race but now it's time to set our sights towards the cup series race here in Talladega like I said we usually struggle here because I put a full setup in at Talladega every time just because the car is so slow at this racetrack and it's probably still going to be really slow in today's episode so we're probably going to struggle to get stage points here in the first two stages stages and as we came to qualifying coming through the trial well I was expecting hopefully a top 35 would be nice now as we come through to cross the line we're going to manage to pull off a top 35 as we hit it 49.811 and we will start Talladega from the 32nd position so hopefully we can move forwards from here today we make our first stop at Talladega super speedway for today's running of the Geico 500 Talladega is 2.66 miles long making it the longest track in the monster energy NASCAR cup series its relatively wide layout also allows drivers to run in rows of three, four, and sometimes even five lanes. Such close quarter racing is thrilling for us, but leaves them little time to react to any incident, raising the possibility of the big one. Who will stay out of trouble and make their way to victory lane today? Let's head down to the track and find out. All right, we are ready to go green here in Talladega for the Geico 500. Ryan Newman looks a bit slow today. Their team has their work cut out for them. Uh, Paul Menard on the pole, so I believe his first pole of the season. Maybe he can pull something off as we get ready to go green as Reed Sorensen starts in the back after failing optical scanning station multiple times now as we're ready to go green in Talladega alongside the 95 of DeBenedetto as we start behind the 9 of Chase Elliott as the green flag is out and we are underway in Talladega Super Speedway now as it is a fairly short first couple stages at this track. They're only about 10, 11 laps or so as the uh, first stage is a good 13 laps so a couple laps extra now as we head down towards turns 1 and turns 2. 3 wide racing already between Denny Hamlin and Ryan Blaney there as they go through turns one and turns two. Ty Dillon up in the three wide as well as we lose a lot of momentum here as we have a big checkup from the 40 of Jamie McMurray. So we're certainly not off to a good start here in Talladega as we try to get down to that inside line as Landon Castle is moving forward. Elliot, he is certainly stuck just like I was there now as he gets down to the bottom line in front of me now as we come into turns three and turns four. Uh, Ross Chastain just in front of me has a chance to get to the inside, but we're going to fill that hole up and we're going to try and take over that spot now as we come out of turn four, sending it up the inside now of the nine of Chase Elliott as we head down to the trial for the first time here to complete the first lap in Talladega, closing in on the back of Landon Castle now as the first lap is complete. It is 12 to go here in this first stage as we head down towards turns one and turns two. Now immediately noticed in this race like I expected. We were certainly not showing a lot of speed and on these pit stops that we make at the end of the stages, we're definitely going to have to push up the tire pressures to hope that we get more speed and as we came out of turn four through the triable on lap two we would be able to make a move to the inside of Landon Castle as we would continue to work our way forwards at this point as we hit just 11 to go now in the stage closing in on the back of Parker Kligerman as we came through turns one and turns two. And as we came to lap six of 13 in stage one working up to the 30th 
position looking to the inside of Kyle Larson as we went down towards fence one. Still behind Parker Kligerman as I was really struggling on speed, like I said, to go anywhere. But we would slowly but surely just kind of creep our way forwards here in Talladega. Now as we look to the inside of Stenhouse and we would continue up to the 26th position looking to the inside of Kligerman as we came to lap 8 of 13 in the stage. Now we're going to way into the top 25 behind the 38 of David Reagan at this point. So slowly working our way forwards and it was a little bit of momentum to build off of as we came to lap 11 closing in on the back of Matt Benedetto as we hit P19 now as we come through the trial approaching two laps to go as he spins in front of me through the trial and he goes hard into the inside while Matt Benedetto just lost the car about a foot or two in front of me and the green flag would stay out as no caution waves here in Talladega. Certainly a close call with the Benedetto, and as we came towards the final lap now, uh, lap 13 of 13 in stage one, battling alongside the 18 of Kyle Busch as we still sit in the 18th position after passing the Benedetto as he went wrecking into the inside wall. Now as we head down into turn three and turn four for the final time in stage one as we try to get ahead of Kyle Busch, but it's not looking like it's going to happen now as we come out of turn four down the front straightaway. Suarez just in front of me as we use his draft now as we come through the trial we'll here for the final time in stage Stage one, we're going to come through to get 18th in the stage. A very disappointing uh, stage finish, but at the same time, a nice little rebound after starting in uh, about 30 seconds. So hopefully we can continue to work our way forwards here in Talladega. Kurt Busch won the stage. He's uh, He had a lot of momentum at the beginning of the season, and then he's kind of fallen off a bit, but now he wins the stage here in Talladega, just like he won a stage at Daytona. So both flight tracks have gone well so far for Kurt Busch. As I would put up the tire pressures just a little bit, seeing if this would help the overall pace of this car for the second stage and unfortunately we would be re restarting on the outside line here to get ready for stage two so not what I wanted because we usually struggle at a track like Talladega on the outside now as the green flag is out and we are on the way for the second stage in Talladega now stage two is just 10 laps so not a lot of time at all to get anything done in this stage now as we give a big shot to the back of the 41 of Daniel Suarez obviously we drove that car last season came up just a few car lengths short of a championship in that number 41 car now as we push Suarez through turns one and two now he gets disconnected as we have a bit of a checkup once again from this outside line so whoever was leading that outside line has no idea what they're doing as we come down the back straight away William Byron forcing a three wide as we're going to send it up the inside of Suarez making a three wide up the middle with him and Danny Hamlin now as we're going to continue to run this line behind William Byron between Hamlin and Johnson and now Bowman as we head down into turns three and turns four certainly a wild restart going here in Talladega as Bowman sticks on my outside but he gets clear as we come out of turn four as I really should have taken the opportunity to get to the bottom down the back straightaway because now we're in trouble because we just have no speed in this car and we're continuing to fall backwards now that we're on the outside line now as we come through to complete the first lap in this second stage Ty Dillon and looking at my inside as Kurt Busch continues to lead this second stage right now as we also move up the track just a little bit Daniel Suarez almost looking to my inside but we are able to get back down in front of him now as we also get to the bottom lane in front of Suarez as we come out of turn two going down the back straight away trying to use the draft from Landon Castle but they would actually pull away from me and we would be leading this little pack here and like I said we just had so little speed in this car that this group of cars ahead of me would actually be able to pull away as Michael McDowell a four star our car would just completely drive right on past me as we came to lap six here in the stage as you can see him coming up on my outside gives us no challenge at all as he's in a four-star car and he completely uh, blows my doors off so certainly one of the major problems in this game specifically at Talladega is the lack of speed and by the time we came to the final lap we had fallen uh, all the way down to P30 here in stage two as another group of cars had gotten past me as we certainly knew that we had our work uh, to do in this final stage we have to make some changes coming to the end of the stage when we hit pit road so as we come down the back straight away for the final time in the second stage closing in on the back of McMurray can barely even keep pace with him but the draft is able to keep us with him now as we head down into turn three for the final time now in stage two certainly not the first two stages that we had in mind and it's just the lack of speed in this car really hurts us now as we come out of turn four heading down the front straight away I think it might be just a glitch in the game I hope it's just a glitch now as we come through the trial making it three wide with McMurray and Castle as we come through trying to get at least one more position 
before the stage ends, but it's not going to happen as we would get P29 in stage two here in Talladega. So once again, we have our work cut out for us. We had a, a, a tough start at this race last season, and it's happening again as Paul Menard wins the stage, and we would come to complete row, take two cans of fuel, four tires, but this time we would put the tire pressures up all the way to 50, hoping that we can just get a little bit extra speed that can help me here in this final stage. Talladega in this game is always a very weird race and is proving to do so again today as we're ready to go green here for the final stage in Talladega. Menard leads the way as the green flag is out and we are underway once again here in Talladega. The final stage is going now as it's just 18 laps to go in Talladega for this final stage behind Parker Quigman as we're going to try and look to his inside actually as we head down towards turns one and two. We can't play or play around. We need to get moving forwards as quickly as possible now as we continue to make it three wide with Parker Kligman as we come through turns one and turns two closing in on the back now of the nine of Chase Elliott who actually won I believe last episode in Richmond as we come down the back straight away setting it up the inside just about of uh, Elliott and that would actually hurt my momentum as we would lose some speed as we came down the back straight away heading down towards turn three it was a bit of an ambitious late move on my part and it certainly destroyed my momentum now as we come through turns three and turns four three wide up ahead with about three rows deep as we come through out of turn four looking to the inside side of Kyle Larson as we head down the front straightaway towards the trial to complete this first lap in this final stage and it's all about just keeping in the draft for this final stage if we want to have a chance at working our way towards the front of this race and like I said a very similar start to this race last season for us and we still finished in uh, the top 10 so I'm very confident that we can still get a solid finish out of this as now Clint Boyer leads this race as we come out of turn two still on the back of the nine of Chase Elliott as we go three wide with Cody Ware and Joey Gase down the back straightaway up into the top 25 now in Talladega in this final stage as we head down towards turn three. Elliott three wide just ahead of us as we head down into the corner. Bubble Wallace up ahead battling alongside the 34 and the 13 of McDowell and Ty Dillon as they battle three wide as we come through turns three and turns four. Joey Logano all the way up by the wall there. Certainly not where he wants to be now as we come down the front straightaway still side by side with the 51 of Cody Ware as we head down into the trial. But we're going to go three wide with him and Bubble Wallace now as we try to come through to complete the lap. As you can see we are just really struggling still with speed at this point but we're going to keep in it now as we hit 16 laps to go in this race and as we come through the center of the corner still battling alongside the 51 of where Larson behind me with some help as we head out of turn two just doing everything I can to try and get ahead as we have a puff smoke up ahead as we come down the back straightaway. More smoke and it's actually from the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. as the caution would come out as he either blew a tire or blew an engine as he would have to come to pit road. And this would force a restart on us from the 22nd position. Once again, starting on the outside, exactly what I was hoping for as we get ready to go green once again here in Talladega. And the green flag is back out. It's going to be now 13 laps to go when we hit the line. Larson still behind me. And and then number 42 as we start behind the 22 of Logano as he is in uh, or behind the 9 of Elliott is actually going to force it up the inside of Logano. Three wide as there's a horrible start in front of us so I decided we're going to take the full opportunity of this and make it three wide up the middle. Now as we do the same thing to Chase Elliott. I didn't really plan on doing it to Elliott. I just kind of made a move and it kind of happened on him. I fully meant to do it to, to Logano because he just didn't have a lot of speed. Now as Denny Hamlin he completely loses his momentum as he is dropping back like a rock now as we head down the back straightaway heading down towards turn three following the 43 of Bubba Wallace as he's going to get to the bottom though as we can't quite get to that bottom line obviously as now Cody Ware moves up the track and actually gets into the side of me a little bit as we have help from behind as Hamlin is able to get in line now as we sit in the 21st position now down to 22nd as we head down the front straightaway a chance to get to that bottom lane though and obviously I'm going to hop on that opportunity and we would move up towards the 20th position by the time we came to lap 37 and behind us we would have some trouble and it's the 13 of Ty Dillon going spinning as we come out of turn two going down the back straightaway and once again like earlier in this race when Matt Benedetto spun right in front of me no caution waves here in Talladega as the NASCAR heat logic comes into full effect and by the time we came to lap 42 just continuing to run on that bottom lane we would work our way up in towards the 14th position now up inside the top 15 and behind Clint Boyer alongside the 47 now of Ryan Priest as we come through the trial hitting just five laps to go at this point as we're running out of time pretty quickly here in Talladega now as we come through turns one and turns two just trying to use that inside line to get ahead and as we came down the back straight away making a three wide now with Boyer and Priest who had gotten up alongside the 14 as we come through down into turn three and turn 
turns four, continuing to work our way forwards here in Talladega now as we come out of turn four, who closing in on a top ten position as we look to the inside of Eric Almarola as we come through the trial. So continuing to move forwards late in Talladega as we came to just three to go. Now up into the tenth position as we go three wide up ahead between Harvick, Busher, and Larson as we come through turns one and two, giving Harvick a shove as we come through the center of the corner. Running out of time quickly, but we still have a chance to get a very solid finish here in Talladega now as we come out of turn two. Still on the back of the four of Kevin Harvick as we come down the back straight away. It looks like it might be Austin Dillon or Daniel Hemrick at this point leading this race as we look to the inside now of uh, Michael McDowell and the number 34 car approaching just two laps ago at this point now as we came through turns three and turns four. And as we came down through crossing the line hitting two to go, we would look to the inside of Kevin Harvick going down into turns one trying to use the drag from Ryan Blaney to propel me ahead of the former champion in this our career mode of Kevin Harvick now two-time champion as we come out of turn two closing in on the back of Blaney now as we come down the back straightaway I figured we could make a move on him or we could try to push him forwards and I decided we're going to try to push him forwards now as it's I believe Hamrick Hemrick or Austin Dillon leading but it doesn't matter because Kyle Busch is making a move to the inside and he's going to take the lead with Alex Bowman right behind him as Bowman's finished second in real life three races in a row and he's looking like he might finish second again here in Talladega in our career mode now as we come through the trial approaching the final lap in this race and as we exit the trial we're going to make a move to the inside of the 12 of Ryan Blaney as we cross the line hit the white flag Kyle Busch first Bowman second Austin Dillon third as we battle side by side with Blaney we get onto the apron a little bit and slide up the track as we hang on to the car but a mistake on my part now is going to allow Blaney to propel ahead of me as we come out of turn two going down the back straightaway for the final time in Talladega Kyle Busch in command as we head down towards turn three. Alex Bowman second just like real life all the time now lately as we head down towards turn three and turns four. Bowman's going to have one more chance to try and steal the victory for the first time in our career mode as he is winless in this career mode now as we come out of turn four. Kyle Busch still in command as we head out of the corner. Heading down the front straightaway for the final time. Bush moves up the track to break the draft as we come through the triangle running in the fifth position behind Ryan Blaney. He looks through the inside of Dillon but Kyle Busch will hold on to win in Talladega as we come Come through to finish in the fifth position over um, the uh, 10 of Eric Almarola. Alex Bowman gets a second place finish just like real life so certainly uh, the game I guess is really realistic if you think about it I guess but there you go seeing the uh, race results Martin Truex Jr. down there in 30th Paul Menard all the way down there Jimmy Johnson 37th an absolutely horrible finish for him as he is uh, after winning the Daytona 500 in the uh, season intro race he has completely fallen off and has just struggled so bad in our career mode this season and he's hopefully uh, looking like he could turn it around hopefully here in the future we'll see if he can make it happen but uh, as always if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to comment like and subscribe those would all be very appreciated we're closing in on 800 subscribers we're getting there it still might be a little bit but uh, i'd like to thank you all for being around here to watch these videos and the next one we will be going to dover a track that we have won at before a track that i enjoy racing at so hopefully we can pull something off we've got a win we got a second place finish here and the lap traffic always like to uh, get in the way here so certainly could play into a benefit for myself as you see the playoff grid we're now at the second so i will see you guys in the next episode in Dover. Hopefully I can get win number two on the season for you guys in that one. Thank you for watching everybody and have yourselves a great day.